Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Soul Code in 4. In the last episode, we went on a major recruit fest where we even got Senor Ted from Sukadin 1. Oh my god, he's in the party right now. I also switched my party a little bit. I put Katarina in there and Kika. Katarina's a little low level. We'll catch her up, don't worry. Shouldn't take long. Hopefully she doesn't die. Um, super easily. Anyway, today we're finally going to continue on with the story, and if you remember from the map in the last episode, our next destination to continue on with the story is Nanal. Oh, it won't let me... It won't let me teleport to Nanal. Well, that's just sad. Well, I guess we're going to go to Nay and teleport... I mean, and then sail over to Nanal. na 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 This could suck a big dick. Should I just do it live? Let's do it all the way live. This actually won't be too bad because that way I can fight a couple battles with Katarina at level 11. And let her get her leveled up a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, you know, get her to 20 or so. Keep her alive because once we get to Nano, big things are about to giz -giz 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 go down. At least I think. Anyway, let's get over to Nano, shall we? To the no 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 To the no 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 also, you'll notice, I didn't really show this, is I learned how to switch the view, guys. I learned. Now, you can't change the camera angle on these two views, but on this view, you can. So you can actually look where you're going. It's kind of amazing. Not going to lie. All right. But you can't. You still got to hold R1 to go fast. But, hey, you know how we do. I had to learn how to look around, man. It was impossible to find that fog ship with the way I was doing it before. <laughs> Anyway, between episodes, I spent all my money on leveling up Kika's weapon and leveling up me Actually, just Kika's weapon, now that I think about it. Uh, and I bought some armor for Ted and Kika and Katarina. I didn't buy the best armors yet, but I bought some armor. But Kika needed the, the weapon level because, you know, her primary thing is physical attacks. So she needs the, we the weapon levels. Anyway, Katarina went up a few levels there. That's good. That's good. It's a good starting battle. I'm going to go ahead and just show this whole trip because it shouldn't take long. Nanal is a short trip away from nay 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 And also, it's a nice opportunity to show off my current potty. I'm trying to change it up a little bit every episode when I have to do some battles, you know? As much as I like staring at Jean's ass or, you know, the side of her ass all day and side boob and cleavage all day, I mean... <laughs> You can only look at it so much before you gotta, you know, move on with your lives. Desensitize yourself a little bit. Don't worry, we'll come back. He'll, we'll come back to it. She's too good of a magic user to not use again. I'm just not using her right now, just to change it up. Katarina is actually a very, very good mag magic user as well. That's part of why I'm using her right now. Level her up, see if we can use her. Maybe she'll be better than Jean. I don't remember, really, who ends up being the best. Honestly, it'll probably just go down to be who, who I feel like using at the time. I might even level up Katarina's weapon, make her a little more useful in, in these random battles. I don't know. Maybe. I'll consider it. I mean, she does a whole nine damage on a, with a level one staff. It's impressive. Also, Ted's uh, weapon, I haven't leveled up at all. It was level nine when it started, which is good. I will level up his bow later. Ted's actually someone I'm considering using for the rest of the game because, yes, he has the Soul Eater in his possession, and yes, we can use it. And I don't know if it kicks quite as much ass as it did in Sukadin 1, but it might. It might. I actually don't remember. He might end up being a staple to this team if I so choose. But for now, he's on the team because, well, two reasons, actually. First reason is he kicks ass, and that should be go without saying. But second reason is I gave him the prosperity rune that I was talking about. I guess that was last episode. Um, we're actually going to utilize Ted and his massively awesome Soul Eater rune to uh, get ourselves some nice leveling slash money grinding going on here. But to get to that point where we can do that, we got to do the next storyline thing, which is in and all. We got to unlock basically the area where we're going to do some money grinding. So let's get to Nanal and get it cracking, shall we? Let's do a, an episode or two here, and then we'll uh, probably I'll probably do the grinding off screen. I don't even know if I have enough ready to go for here. For two, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's keep fighting these fucking Manta Rays. Now that my main character can swipe, swipe them on his own with two hits. It's pretty sweet. Even Kika can when she gets a crit hit, baby. Crit hit, baby. Get him, Ted. Get him. Oh, never mind. You will not be better off, Ted, for you are already dead. All right. Looking pretty sweet. Looking pretty sweet. Get up in that nano. You guys ready for some nano? Oh, cutscene ensues. I didn't even have to land like usual. Now I know why I couldn't teleport here. Because apparently a cutscene happens. 
Hey, Funky G, I'll come too. The chief of this island has a violent temper. Oh, we have to bring Lino? And here I was all excited to use... Oh, fuck that. Okay, well, I, I kind of want to level up Katarina some more. We're definitely using Ted. So where the fuck Ted go? Ted, you're in. Ted, where you at, dude? Oh, he's the number one option. No bullshit. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to bring Kika instead just for the fighting. Uh, we'll, uh, between Ted and Funky, my magic will be perfectly fine. I think that'll be fine. For, because the battles we're about to fight are going to be like like actual random battles. It'd be nice to have four people who can just attack without having me having to worry about magic. We're not going to fight any bosses, but we are going to fight plenty of random battles coming up here. So I just want to get through them as swiftly as possible with four attackers. Katarina, I'm sorry. We'll level you up at a later date. But you got to see her in action a little bit. Alright, we're back in Nanal, guys. Yay! Remember Nanal? Took two steps into fucking town and we're already fighting. Awesome! Awesome, awesome. Here we go. And look what we're fighting, guys. Soldiers, what? These are Kuluk soldiers. So apparently, Nana is now overrun with Kuluk soldiers. This is not good. Die, Kuluk bastards. Don't you use magic on yourselves. I was going to say on me, but never mind. That's just Earth Road. No one gives a fuck about no Earth Road. Rock them. Rock them, sock them, baby. Yay. Eat it. Holy shit, you see that potch? 6,600, plus Kika went up a bunch of levels. 6,600 potch on one battle with three soldiers. Now you know why I got the prosperity rune on Ted now. That's the reason. Booyaka, suck it. Alright, let's get into town here. Um, eh, the trade shop's not useful for me right now. Let's just go into town. Looks like there's some soldiers in the way. You, get out of the way. I want to go to town. Want to get up, get down, and go to town, you know? But more soldiers stand in my way, for I will cut you down. If only for the 600, for the 6,000 potch, 6,000 plus patch. Damn, son, this crew, this crew kicks some ass. I like this crew for physical attacks. They are beast. This is a beast-ass crew. Don't you dodge, my Kika. How dare you? Lino is strong. I just don't like his HP being so low for being... Well, I guess his HP isn't that low anymore. It was a lot lower, but now he's level 46. I don't know. He's becoming a lot more more of a beast than I originally thought he would be. Because his HP was so low, even though he was strong. But now it's up there. It's getting up there. I may be taking back what I originally thought about uh, Mr. Lino. What, you want to fight? No, but I guess you want to, huh? I didn't know they were going to fight me like that. They just stood in my way. They, they were just going to let me walk on by. Guess we're gonna take out two more of these little bitches right quick. Get some, bitch. Oh, ho, ho. Owned. Owned. Didn't even get to breathe, son. Didn't even get to breathe. Eat that. Homie. Wait, what? Oh, shit. More battles. Alright. Keep rocking them. Get them. Get them. We ball till we fall, which will never happen at all. Ball till we fall, which will never happen at all. Ball till we fall, baby, never happen at all. These ones are a little more bitchy with their little thunder attacks. How dare you? How dare you, sirs, with your thunder shit. Eat it. Double sword attack was learned. Nice. Kika and main character have a combo attack. I'll have to try that one out. Actually, didn't even know that. Sweet. 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 Nice. Murder all the soldiers. That's how we do. Don't tell me. They fell to Kuluk? I thought the people here weren't the type to easily raise the white flag. What are you doing? Whoa. You're in deep trouble now. Okay, guys. Get them. All right. <laughs> <Please> <laughs> me. Uh, what? It's obvious why you came to Nanal. I, the Great Axel, will make sure you'll regret coming here. I... Are you guys even Kuluk? They look like they live here. Why do you guys submit to Kuluk? For the King of Oval to come, to listen here, this island will be claimed by no one, much less a vassal, vassal state like Ogul. Only because you have traveled this far, I shall at least hear what you have to say. Pops. Paps. Did we meet Axel before? I think the chief here just talked about his son, Axel. What's this? You are the leader? You are not just a subject of the Kingdom of Oval? 
nonsense have you any proof? Check out this golden shit I own, son. Funky G, show him the golden seal, I Island Chief. It's proof that I have entrusted him with my power. Eat it, son. Eat it. Ready to weep, bruh. Does he not know what it is? You gonna take a bite out of it too? It appears to be the real thing. I have no choice but to believe you. Okay then. That's what I thought, bitch. Fucking try to play me, son. Then, you are saying that you did not come here to turn this place into a colony, correct? We came to seek your cooperation. We are not like the Kulu, who seek to invade. And I have not come as King of Obel. Hmm, did you say invade? I find that hard to believe. In fact, a certain man came here the other day. A man? Yes, a young man named Troy. He was a naval officer of Kuluk. This man inspected our village for days and told me that he would do nothing to destroy our way of life. He also said that he would like for us to progress hand in hand. But that's... There's no way Kuluk would agree to that. Now, now, please hear me out. It is clear in my mind that Kuluk's offer was indeed sincere. Do you not realize how belligerent you seem? You intrude suddenly and demand our cooperation. Who could believe you? From our point of view, it makes very little difference whether it's the Kuluk or the G-Force. In fact, you are the more barbarous. After all, no sooner did you land than you beat down the people from Kuluk. Uh, but... Now that you understand, it is time to determine your punishment. You injured our guests. For that, you will pay dearly. Pops, I think we have the perfect job for these guys. Oh, I see. Yes, perhaps we will ask him to do that. Wait, what? Do what? We'll release you if you... We'll release you if you'll do but a simple errand for us. A good deal, don't you think? Of course, I hope you are aware that you cannot refuse. In the great elven tree on this island, you will find an altar on which there lies a medicine called Elven Remedy. I would like you to bring it to me. Tonight. What? You want us to commit a theft? No, no, we're just borrowing. We can eventually return it. You will accept this request, won't you, King of Obel? Oh, that's right. You didn't come to Nanal as the king, did you? Pardon me. There's still some time left before tonight falls, so please rest in the inn across the square. I'm counting on you. Rest at the inn across the square? The inn across the square. I don't think there's an inn in the square, dude. So this is an inn, huh? Yeah. I think you mean jail cell. Looks eerily similar to the one that Joey and main character Ryu stayed in in uh, Sugiden 2. Other than it's outside. Can we just go? Oh, uh, we can rest. Anyway, we got the old book. I don't think there's anything we can do until we just rest. Let's just rest. Faggot! Let's just rest. Alright. Oh, alright. Oh, alright. Ugh. Well, I guess we should go. Let's just hurry up and get it over with. Ted is not enjoying himself. Alright, so we need to go to the elf village and steal some kind of elven medicine. Anyway, to get the elf village, there's a path over here that we kind of never really went on in a previous at a previous time on this island. I actually might have went this way accidentally one time. Anyway, just follow the gorge. Just follow it. Follow it. Follow it. Follow it to the end until you fight yourself a, a battle. Yeah, there's not really anything along the way here, other than new enemies, apparently. These are brown blackbirds or something, as opposed to the icebirds. Anyway, they're getting wrecked. What are they called? Wicked hens. Kill the wicked hen! Ding dong, the hen is dead. The big old hen, the wicked hen. Ding dong, the wicked hen is dead. No? You didn't like that one? Alright, well, I'll revamp that one and I'll, uh... Play by later. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a remix. 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 Rewrite. Reboot. And yeah, uh, you can tell me how that sounds. Anyway, we're at the Great Elven Tree, guys. Don't you? Doesn't it look epic? Doesn't it look epic? I think it looks epic. Epic. All right, here we are. The Great Elven Tree. Maybe we should have brought an elf with us. I mean, mm, we only have one. It's awfully quiet in here. A little too quiet. Mm. Huh? Well, that seems conveniently placed. 
just sitting there waiting for us to grab it, huh? Hopefully that's what we came for. Let's just grab it and go, I guess, huh? So all we have to do is bring this, huh? Then let's hurry up and get back. All right, got the oven remedy, guys. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Isn't this a little too easy? Especially for something that Island Chief asked us to do. <sighs> I know, right? Uh-oh. Are you certain of this, letting them go? Yes, we thought of this through. The stupid humans need to suffer a little to learn their lesson. Okay, apparently the elves have plans for us. Whatever, dude. All right, Chief, it is a I did truly your wonderful morning. Now he talks. Good no, Lord. there's nothing wonderful about it. Well, now, if I had known it was going to be this simple, I would have done it myself. But as I promised, you are free to leave. I gave it to them, Pops. They thanked us, and they swore they'll use it right away to treat all the soldiers these idiots beat up. Oh, I see. That was a tribute to the Kuluk, huh? So, it seems you ended up bowing down to them after all, haven't you? Owned. No, not a tribute. It was simply an affirmation of our pact. But say what you will. The words of a thief don't bother me in the least. A thief? That's you guys! Hmm. Now, Axel. I'm sorry to be sending you out so soon after you returned, but will you please escort them to the harbor? All right. Come on, let's go. Let's go. All right, so Axel has joined our company temporarily to escort us to the harbor, so we have to walk our ass back to the harbor. Let's just do it. I don't even want to talk to this guy. This guy is unreasonable. I'm not talking to no unreasonable a-hole like him. No more. No fucking more. I'm out of here, bitches. I'm out. I'm O U T, baby. I'm out. I'm out there like a. Uh, I don't even know. I'm out there. Somewhere out there. Hey, look, more soldiers. I will fight every single battle because these guys uh, give you money for days. Anyways, by the way, from here on out, no matter where you are in this town where you can fight battles, you will run into these guys. We will not fight the shitty ass bees and shit here anymore. You will fight Kulik soldiers. And as you already saw, fighting these little bastards over and over again bears many fruits of potch. So I will probably be using this area to grind big time for money. And I'm just going to use that, you know, use that money to get a bunch of weapon level ups. See, I already got 47k. We fought like six battles. That's crazy. That'd be crazy, man. That'd be crazy. So yeah, I'm literally just gonna walk around here and just destroy the fuck out of an all soldiers for a while. Probably off screen when we get to the next point at which I will take a break. But for now, we continue with the episode. Money is not an object at the moment. Right now, we're on our we're pretty much still on a recruit fest, but this is storyline related recruiting. We're trying to recruit the people on this island. The, oh, elf there is chick. someone She's who mad. wishes to speak with you people. She's mad. Will you come along quietly? Uh, I don't know. Is that any way to ask for a favor? This is why I hate elves. How about you and me going at it right here or now? Whoa, I don't. Huh? I, can I watch? Come can on. I watch? Hmm. Now, now. Let's at least hear what this is all about. You wanted to go at it with the elf girl. I mean, I can't deny. I would very much appreciate that. I do not wish to soil my sword without cause. Please, this way. You heard the bees. She wishes not to soil her sword. Instead, she will use it on your throat, bitch! Wait a minute! This is a jail! Owned. <laughs> That's hilarious. And you thought we were going to go meet with somebody who would very much like to speak with us. Owned. Sorry. Please make yourselves at home in there for a while. Make what? Sheesh. The residents of this island are all just so... Did you say something? Uh, nope. Uh, uh, nope. Uh, nope. Excellent work, Selma. We were the ones who took your precious medicine. Please, accept our deepest apologies. Uh, <laughs> yes. 
It went just as planned. What? What do you mean by that exactly? Hmm. I will overlook humans building a colony and claiming to be chief of this island. However, I cannot allow them to sell this land to another country. What are you getting at? Humans are such an ugly, infantile race. One petty excuse and they will hurt others without a second thought. I know of no other such species. You will be witnesses to the tragedy that will unfold here. That is why I will allow you to live. It should be but a few more days. So, behave yourselves. What are you even talking about, dude? A few more days? What? I can't sit here for a few days. I'm not gonna do fucking play Tiddlywinks. Hey, There's not even any Tiddlywinks in here. Let us out right now! If you're not gonna let us out, at least give me some Tiddlywinks to play with. I don't know why I went immediately to Tiddlywinks. How about some Jacks or some Pogs? Pokemon cards? Anything to play with, man? Boring. So they knew from the start we were going to steal the Elven Remedy. Yeah, that means they probably poisoned that shit or something. They're going to let us live? Meaning they're not going to let others live? What's going on here? That's what I'm saying. That old el <clears throat> that old elf is definitely looking for trouble. Indeed. Damn it. I can't. I can never understand what the elves are thinking. You're not supposed to understand. You're just supposed to accept it and move on, sir. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Wait, what? Hurry, get out. Return to your village quickly. Wait, what? But why? The hell? Why did she What's help us all of a sudden? Who cares? Let's just get out of here. Uh, I care. Why did she just let us out all of a sudden? That's super weird. I want to know things. My guess is we got there under attack. That's my guess. And now they want us to help. Anyway, let's go see. Gotta say, the elven tree, not so impressive. There's just a, there's that altar area, and there's a jail, and that's all there is. So, color me unimpressed when the elven tree in Sukadin 1 is better than the elven tree in Sukadin 4. It's not the same elven tree, obviously, but it, it's an elven tree nonetheless. Kinda lame, not gonna lie. Any hoozle. Off to see some people and murder some more of these birds. I'm gonna slice them up and then I'm gonna eat some tur. Oh, I didn't say that. Nobody wants to eat some turkey. I went there. I almost said uh, something a little more uh, disgusting to eat. But hey, you can use your imagination on that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Just gonna keep killing some more of these turd birds. Turd birds. Turd, turd, turd. Turd is the worst. The turd, turd bird. Bird is the worst. The turd bird, turd. Turd is the bird. The turd bird, turd bird. Turd is the bird. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! You keep your breath off of my Lino. My Lino shall not be breathed upon by you. Eat. Ooh. Bow to the fizzity face. I wish they gave you a little bit more money. That's okay, because I'm gonna go kill some more Kulu soldiers and rank and bank and get all that potch. All the potch I can carry. I'm gonna get all that potch that I can carry. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then I'll finally be able to max out my weapon with my main character. I'm still, I'm, I've still been sparing on that. I really should just max out my main character's weapon. Well, at least, you know, go as high as I can, which is level 12. I've yet to make anybody's weapon higher than level 10, which is to say my main character is level 10 and nobody else. I don't even think anybody else is level 10 at all. I think I've capped it at 9 for most people. Even Kika, I stopped at 9, I believe. Anyway, are we back to the village yet? Can we figure out what's going on? Oh god. Wow, called that one. Easy peasy. You alright there, dude? Oh, he doesn't look okay. What the? Oh, you know what, the We have orders to kill every last one of you bastards. And that's exactly what we're going orders to do. Orders from who? Speak up. You've got some nerve offering us poison. Ah. You traitors! Ah! Whoa. 
hear that scream? That sounded angry. Let's put him down. Let's put him down. With an angry scream like that, he doesn't deserve my pity. He deserves a box to go six feet under, son. That's what you deserve. I'll give you the box you deserve, and not the victory you think you deserve. Get some. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. 6,000 pouch for two guys. So much money. I love it. I love it. So much money. Hey, look, more battles. Yeah, we got to fight a couple waves of enemies just like we did earlier. Don't worry, guys. We got this. No problem. Don't you lightning me. Oh, my God. That did a lot of damage. Jeebus. That was not good. Kill them now, please. Why would you attack two separate ones? Dumbass. Oh, my God. See, you like he could die. Good job, game. You let one live so that others may die. Good job. Good freaking jab. Good gerb. Good gerb. Ah, damn it. We gotta fight another one? Jesus. Leaping Jesus. Alright. Well, in that case, we use a little bit of this action. And we'll let the rest of my team have at it. Get him. Oh, come on. Son of a shit. Well, that's not good. Ted, you're the only hope. Ted, you're the only hope. I should have used Ted. Ted's faster than everyone. What am I doing with my life? Look kind of dumb. Look kind of dumb. Sorry, guys. I got this. Between Lino and Kika, we got this. No, no, no problemo. Actually, what we could do. If we wanted to be for reals. We get these fuckers some Black Shadow and they'll know, they'll, they'll know what to do with themselves. Hit him with some midnight shadow. Well, we're gonna get a look at black shadow even though we don't really need it now. Damn, son. Damn. Should've just did that from the beginning. 9,000 potch! You crazy, man. You crazy. Love it. Is that it? Three battles? Is that enough? Have you had enough, Kuluk? Did we just murder all of them? I think we just murdered all Shut of them. Shut up! Just, just leave me alone, will ya? No. Ugh. Ugh. God, leave me alone. Ugh. Oh, the village chief got to live, though, huh? Look what you've done, Faja. So, this is how the Kuluk operate. Pops, we were tricked. When I, what I gave them was poison, and then they... I heard, but that was merely their excuse. This would have happened sooner or later. It was just sooner. Axel, accompany these people. N now you're going to trust these guys? That's right. If I am mistaken, I will pay for it with my life. But if cooperation is the only way to avoid such a fate, then I am willing to take that chance. I mean, look at all these dead people. I apologize for our earlier behavior. I would like to formally request an alliance with you. <sighs> Fine, let's fight together. Thank you. As proof of our alliance, I will lend you, lend to you my son's services. Do not be afraid to test his abilities. I, I look forward to serving with you. Alright, so we got Axel. He joined. Yay. Well, I'll be going on ahead. Indeed. Bye, Axel. Alright. It seems we failed to occupy Nanal. Take them with caution. It can be quite as difficult to color a wild dog. But old Troy was a side general. Bah, his methods take too long. Unless we want the platoon we brought in for HQ to be annihilated, we must advance southwards more quickly. If they assemble into a united front, they could pose a problem for us. Colton, we must keep this quiet from Troy for now. Good. I, I, I understood. I understood, sir. I, I understood. Um, I got it. 